Hi there, welcome to a lesson on the bead frame. This is a typical bead frame found in every Montessori classroom in the world. <laughs> and I want to note, draw your attention to the fact that it is moving one step towards abstraction and the bead frame is what we use after the children have used the stamp game. Okay, so you, during our coronavirus distance learning, you have in your folders, parents, your child's folders has these stamps in their Google file drives, Google files. And um, you'll notice that the colors of the stamps are the colors of our hierarchy green, blue, and red, which keeps repeating. So we've got units, tens, hundreds, and then it would be units of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and keep going. Units of millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, units of billions, tens of billions, hundreds of billions. It just never ends. So, but for this purpose, you know, for our little guys, we really just go up to the thousand. So we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, just like the stamp game, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. On all the stamps is written the quantity. So we've got one. This shows you a 10. This shows you a hundred. And this shows 1,000. So at home, if you're working in your operations book, the, I don't know how many pages it is, hundreds and hundreds of pages. And if you're working on static, static um, edition, you have been using your stamps, I hope. Okay. However, I have also made for you, and you um, picked them up a week ago, these bead frames. Well, it's the same thing as our Montessori bead frames. Okay, it's the same. We're using the same colors, same everything. Okay, so we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. All right, so here I'm gonna show you how we use these with our Montessori beads. So in your six to nine workbook that I have put in every single child's file, you will find operations. So four digits plus four digits, or sometimes it's one digit plus one digit, or two digits plus two digits. At any rate, if you have done all of those with the stamps, you can do them again using the bead frames. You can just print out more papers. Your children will not even notice that they've done those problems already. Just print them out again. And now we can do them with the bead frame to develop further understanding. Remember in Montessori, we don't ever just teach things once. We teach them multiple times using a multiple of materials. This um, consistent Revisiting of the concepts creates mastery. Remember in Montessori, we don't teach a mile wide and an inch deep. We teach an inch wide and a mile deep. So they really, hopefully the goal is, is that they have done the, the operations so many times and with so many different materials that they have mastered it. So I'm going to pull a problem just from one of our problem cards, and it's this. 4,638 plus 2,151. <clears throat> so using this bead frame, we'll just go ahead and use this one that I made. We will go ahead and build our first number. Now, I have been taught in my Montessori training that really the bead frame should be used in this way because you're seeing the place value as you see it on your problem. 
units, tens, hundreds, thousands, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. So when they're flat like this, it's easy to do. Okay, so let's just go ahead and build our number. We can build it from the thousands. So here's 4,000. Here's 600. Here's three tens. And here's eight units. Now we're going to add on the next number. So I'm going to add a one to my eight. So there's a one. Now I'm going to add five tens. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to add on another 100. There's one more hundred. Now I'm going to add two more thousands. 1,000, 2,000. All right, well now we would find our answer. And this is what we would record. Our answer in units will be nine. For the very young child, I would want them to count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our answer in tens will be eight. Let's verify that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our answer in hundreds will be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And our answer in thousands will be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer will be 6,789. That's how we use the bead frame.